Why? Hello and also good morning everybody. So today I wanted to go ahead and update you guys with the SSF Righteous Fire Juggernaut again. Uh, since it's been pretty much a week since the last update, this character has had an immense amount of progress. So we're going to go ahead and jump in and show you. So before I get started on showing my gear, I want to just go ahead and jump into a uh, Elder Guardian map. I'm currently farming uh, invitations to try to get some Awakened Gems right now. So that's what you can kind of see in my inventory. So I'm going to go ahead and just jump this in. You'll notice in my setup, I'm trying out the, I guess you could say the latest defensive layers that come with uh, uh, this patch, which is the Eternal Damnation lore we've set up. For a little bit of uh, clarification, what Eternal Damnation and, do and lore weave do, also let me reset this a little laggy. Uh, Eternal Damnation, it makes it so you gain elemental damage reduction equal to half your Chaos Res, and Lore Weave sits your max res at 78. So even though Eternal Damnation's downside is minus 5, it does not pull you below Lore Weave's uh, minimum, I guess you could say, or maximum. Um, the reason this is very beneficial is because, number one, Lore Weave can be acquired deterministically in SSF by simply vendoring 60 unique rings, and also, you can get yourself uh, Eternal Damnation by simply doing the Sanctum boss. And Sanctum is also very much doable, as it's the League mechanic. So for, play for players in SSF, it's actually super, super, I wouldn't say easy to get, but it is deterministic, so it's something you can kind of move yourself towards. Okay, this Corvicious prefix actually it is. Yeah, so the combo here is you get about 39%, uh, what is it, reduced, less elemental damage taken. That also affects your, uh, your degen from Righteous Fire. So you actually get more net regen in this setup, uh, at least from the this, this standard setup that I had before. Now, um, talking about the standard setup, which is basically like a rare body armor and Sapple's frame, I will say that this setup feels more tanky against elemental damage definitely squishier against physical damage now in the super end game setup with like say a brass dome i do believe the brass dome is potentially tankier than this current setup uh, i'm not really 100 percent sure i'd have to like play around with pob and i don't really feel like doing that um some of the other advantages of lore weave though is it's very easy to color as it's an armor es base which means you throw literally like five chromatics at it and it's done um on top of that, there's also the fact that it gives, like, some elemental damage, and um, it also gives all attributes. The all attributes is very beneficial, since it can save you, like, a dex node, and the LE damage is not really too bad. Uh, some of the cons of this setup, though, is that the Eternal Damnation does take up your amulet slot, and amulets are insane damage on damage over time builds in general since you can get like dot multi plus one gems plus one plus one so that would be plus one fire plus one uh, all spell skills etc so you really have to pivot over to using an offensive shield my shield's not really super great right now it's basically just plus one fire with res um that's another downside i guess you could say is you are super res starved if you're using like lore weave eternal damnation and immortal flesh with the brass dome setup we do use a saffles frame which is like 30 all res which does help massively all right let's see what we have here nope i think we're good i can't believe i debased myself by All right, so to talk about our gear, um, I'm going to go over everything because I'm not sure what is in the previous video. I had a weapon that was multi-moddable. I suffixed to prefixed it and it bricked. So I ended up just kind of spamming minion essences and got lucky with a plus one spell skills with um, the natural minion and then I crafted fire multi. It's still not that crazy strong of a weapon considering I'm 99, but 
this is what we're working with right now. Uh, helmet is the same helmet I've been working on this whole time. I finally, after 10 divines, got the plus 2 unveil and then crafted life on it. And then exalted hybrid evasion life, which is kind of cool. It's just extra life. Uh, shield is just plus 1 fire. Really, that's about it. There are some crazy things you can do with harvest to guarantee plus fire. So if I can get a shield with like tier 1 life and maybe like tier 1 or tier 2 fire damage percentage, I can maybe force plus 1 fire and then work on adding resistance, but I don't know yet. Uh, ring 1, this is basically crafted from... This one is rog crafted, uh, and this is just a shit ton of res to make up for the lack of chaos res I have. Ring number 2 was actually spammed with reforged chaos. Unfortunately, I have that strength roll there, but still, it 40 chaos res with... 27 chaos and a 55 lightning roll is pretty good um should still be the same gloves maybe i don't know i found a pair of fractured gloves i was crafting on them i don't really like them i want a lot more resistance but this is what we have to work with right now uh legacy of fury that we did secure we also labyrinth enchanted it and then my immortal flesh that finally rolled well after finding like six of them and divining three of them uh, so this one we're actually dumping our catalyst into since I don't really see myself replacing it anytime soon. Yep, that's pretty much about it. Um, probably going to level to 100 with this setup and if we are continuing in SSF, I will probably be making an explode character and the reasoning for that is because I did find a pair of Assonance Gentle Touch which is the main key component in me playing Explode Righteous Fire. Anyway, that's pretty much about it. Hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves, and I'll see you guys all tomorrow.